guys welcome back to no catch your name it's me ella today i wanted to hop on here and show you what projects i made with two cakes of yarn so i used one hook size which was i which is five millimeter two cakes of yarns and i made three projects <laughs> so they're living in this little bag right here so cute I bought this from a yarny friend but i don't know if she has any more in her shop I think I looked at hers the other day and I can't remember if she did or not. <laughs> I'll link the shop below if you want to check it out. But uh, yeah, so I had two cakes of the Fruits yarn. I got it for my birthday last year. I'm pretty sure it was last year. Lots of ball bands. So I did use two of them. And this is how much I have left. So I do have a good little hunk left to go in my scrap container with my uh, variegated scraps. And I'll pull it out for like a scrap blanket or a little amigurumis or something. I'll do something with it. <laughs> But, so this is what it is. It is the Premier Sweet Real Fruits. And the colorway is called Pink Grapefruit. And it is a number four worsted weight yarn. 100% acrylic. And I think there was 174 yards in each ball. So I did have two full ones that I was working with. And I made three projects. And I made actually three containers. <laughs> uh, I was trying to think of, a, oh, oh gosh, I forgot to put it in my ends. I just now realized that. Um... I was trying to think of a ways to use this yarn because I really like the color of it that I will actually use. So I was like, well, um, I knew that Sarasatch had this little project bag pattern that I loved. And I've, I've made multiple ones over the years. And I actually used to use one to collect my um, produce from the garden that I used to have on my back porch. I haven't done that in a couple of years because of COVID and then pregnancy and all that stuff. <laughs> but, um, and then this year, you know, last year and this year having a baby. So, but anyways. So, I did make a few of them, and I used to carry my cucumbers and little tomatoes and stuff in it. But I wanted to make one, because I'm trying to start walking again and being healthier. Um, I wanted one that I could wear my wrist while I'm walking to uh, hold my ball, and I can just work around stuff. So, this is a free pattern by Sarah Satch. I think all her patterns are free. Um, and then they, there's also a video tutorial, so I'll link the written and the tutorial down below. Th this one's just called Cute Project Bag. And here it is. If you see ends, don't freak out. <laughs> I forgot to weave in my ends. So I did follow her pattern exactly. So you start at the bottom, making the circle, and then you start doing this, um, it's like a V stitch and cluster repeat <laughs> up to the size that you want it, or you can just follow the pattern. Uh, and then you make like a border top and then you just, you start the handle right from the, the yarn. You don't have to break it off or anything. So there's only two ends on here. The one from the very started point down here and then where I ended right here. So you just, you make the handle and you just uh, fold the bag in half and attach it. And that's just a cute little uh, wrist bag. And I, I had, I have multiple of these actually over here in the bottom of my um, three tier carts. And I think I've given some away. I know I had a yellow one and I have like a, um, I think it's Red Heart Monet <laughs> um, colorway one. And uh, I just like this little bag a lot. It It's actually really spacious for such a little bag, you know. You could keep a ball of yarn in there. And work on like an amigurumi or squares and stuff. Even like a scarf would probably fit in here. A hat. I like this a lot. And I love the way the colors worked up. It's just so pretty. So that was project number one. Project number two is also a Sarah Satch pattern. <laughs> this one I, I have not ever made. And again, the ends are not woven in. I completely forgot to weave in my ends. This one does have a few more ends because um, this is, and I made this one first. And then when I started this one, I ran out of the yarn towards the end of it. Let me find where it is. I think it's right here. Yeah. And then, you know, I saw attached to the new ball. But this is her other bag. I thought this would be a cute uh, project bag as well. Or for toys or something. I thought uh, when I was making it, I was thinking I could put toys for June in it. To take up with us in the truck, you know, to keep her kind of occupied <laughs> as well as you can. But, uh, but this is called the Mesh Drawstring Bag. So here it is. And now this one I did not... Um, follow it like to a T. I didn't do as many, I don't, you know, I didn't count my rolls. I just did as many rolls as I thought looked good. But I did follow like the rest of it, like the starting part. You, this one you start with a chain and then you work on both sides of the chain and you just keep going up and you can make it any size you want really from that. Uh, so I just kind of eyeballed <laughs> the hat. But you can see right there where I ran out of yarn. I think that's it. There's another one up here. I'm trying to think. I think maybe this is, I think I cut the yarn and then I, I looked at it and I decided to add more or something. <laughs> I don't know. So I believe this is where I ran out of the first 174 yards and then I built it up and then you got to make the drawstring, which I, st I still got the ends. I got to deal with those. 
but you do just pull on it like any drawstring bag and then it uh, will be cinched up <laughs> you can tie it in like a bow or something and uh, then you just pull on it again to open it <laughs> but I thought it was a really really cute pattern and again uh, a lot of good a lot of stuff fit in here now you couldn't like throw a crochet hook in here it would probably fall out one of the holes <laughs> but you could put like um you know it's a bag you put all kinds of things in it <laughs> you could also put your project in it if you put your project or your hook in like a notions pouch that you have and stick it down in there but so that was project number two with the two cakes of yarn so that's one and two <laughs> and then the third project now this one i did alter this pattern just a smidge but it's because um i wanted mine a different size than the pattern was for <laughs> this one is not sour satch this one is from amanda corvello and it's a free ravelry download and uh it is called hanging nest basket and it did call the pattern called to use a h hook but I went ahead and used eye hook because I had these cakes with me and then my eye hook <laughs> in my project bag. So I just was going with what it called. And actually, I'm pretty sure this pattern by Sarah Satch called for eye, uh, age hook as well, which is five millimeter. But I went ahead and used eye because I didn't think it would matter too much. <laughs> but anyways, so um, this pattern right here I'm about to show you, the hanging basket, It in the pattern increases up to 50 something, 54 or 58, I can't remember. But I only increased it up to 40. So here's the bottom of it. I just increased it to 40 because I didn't want, I wanted it, I wanted it the shape that it is. <laughs> Instead of the shape that it is on the pattern. Does that make sense? <laughs> but uh, it does have some texture to it. This is all front row or front uh, post, back post, double crochet. And then on the next row you do the opposite so that it gives like the, I think it's called like the alpine stitch look. Because, um, you know, if you did it all the same, it would be like lines instead of like different <laughs> but uh and then i did do the loop different because the loop on it was bigger and it was like a little handle and i wanted just a little loop that i could hang so uh because i increased it lower to a smaller number instead of the larger number when i got up here i had to decrease it differently um but if you want to make something that looks similar to this you could just follow the pattern but i wanted this to be like one that you can hang on like a hook instead of like a handle because I'm, I'm planning on putting this i'm hoping to hang this near my head um, to put my phone in at night while it's charging because right now I just kind of lay it beside my bed and um, I don't have like a proper table over there so I uh, I lose it a lot I lay it on like the corner of the bed you know and it, so it falls off the bed or it gets underneath the pillows and stuff so I uh, I wanted a little basket to hang it in and maybe the remote for the TV that's in here uh, that was my plan so that's why I made it taller because I believe it is taller than because the other one from the picture it looks shorter so I wanted it taller and I wanted it slimmer so that it would hold my phone because my phone's pretty long <laughs> and uh, the TV roll. But yeah, so that is my three projects that I made with two cakes of yarn. <laughs> and I did have a smidge left over. So there's my three projects. <laughs> and um, this is just a little ball. I don't know how many yarns it is. Not very many. But I will save it and uh, use it in a scrap project or for an amigurumi part or something. I'll figure something out. So yeah, so that was my three projects that I made with two cakes of yarn and one hook. <laughs> so one hook, two cakes, three projects. I thought that was pretty good. And these are actually functional projects that I'm actually going to use instead of letting them lay around and like nothing come of them. <laughs> so I'm excited. But anyways, uh, I will link all the projects down below. And both of the bag, these bags have written tutorials and video tutorials. <laughs> um... I love Sarah Satch's patterns. They're all so easy to follow. Like, she makes the best patterns, I think. Uh, and quick ones that you just pop out. And this one was really easy, too. And even though I um, personalized it, <laughs> it um, it was still super easy. I basically followed the pattern. I just made a smaller, taller version than uh, the pattern calls for. But anyways, so that is what I made. I'm pretty excited about that. So that's also two more cakes of yarn out of my stash. <laughs> Yes, he's yelling there. He's playing a game. Um, so, and two more ball bands to go into the pile. I haven't been showing my ball bands, but I have been keeping them. So, I like these ones too. They're just, I don't know, they're pretty. I like the little pictures of the grapefruit and there's the little image right there. I think it's pretty. Like, this would be pretty in a junk journal or something uh, for some reason. <laughs> but I think they're just real cute. But anyways, and I still have two more of these yarns, but it's a different colorway. It's a green one. I can't remember what it's called. So maybe I'll pull them out soon. And I was also eyeballing some mandala ombre that I have three cakes of. So it's like just over a thousand yards. So 
like a thousand and thirty cards. So I'm gonna try to find some stuff to make with that too. <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here. All links will be down below, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys.